Hi, this is Multitopic Talk. Welcome to this video about Boruto Naruto Next Generation. So basically, I will rank my top 7 of the chapter we got by September 2020. So I just read chapter 50. And basically, right now, I will rank which of those 50 chapter comes in my seven favorite ones so it's not just fights that make them I but the story they tell us what I remember and I just read all those chapter like in the past two weeks uh, knowing I would do this video I read all 50 chapter just to remind myself, oh, we had that and this happening there and now. So, here I got a lot of notes and it's probably the first video I will really read into my notes. Because those seven chapters were hard to choose and I want you to understand my viewpoint on how good they were. And comment your own top seven if you want and tell why and how did you like it so far so let's start with my first place first place is chapter 35 so why it's first it's because we had so much going on why not any real fight we learned that the Kage trusts Kurama and he is no more only just seen as a weapon. He became his own individual. And Kawaki, uh, Kawaki speaking with Kurama was very interesting to see. And now we see Kawaki start to understand Naruto here and he's like, oh wow. And he start crying. That shows us he's not that empty. He's not what Jigen says he is. And then we see his interaction uh, with Nar Boruto and Naruto. He's training with them, and Sarada is kind of jealous of that. And and we see Chocho in the anime is very annoying. Let's be real. A Chocho episode is painful to watch. But right now, we got a Chocho moment where she explained the will of fire. And that was great. And then we also see how Shikamaru is not trusting Kawaki. It's great. And then we also learn it's not Jigen, the villain. It's Ishiki. We also learn he has his own tentail as a pet. And... That's pretty much it. And we also see Sarada asking Sakura, does the, the seal you have has any link with karma? That's interesting. And you see Kawaki Boruto dynamic uh, slowly being created here. And we also see that Mitsuki is saying, oh, maybe you won't be able to remove it. So probably it's just a guess, but he probably knows Boruto won't be able to remove it. That's just a quick guess. Mitsuki is smart. Going in second place, we got chapter 50. Now, that one was amazing. I read it so many times while being bored. The fight was great. Uh, we see also uh, all Boruto uh, cares about the village. He start having that wall of fire that Naruto tries to give him. And then we see that maybe Boruto is going to be the secret weapon that can maybe end this. And we see that maybe Kawaki will turn evil again. And we also see Amado, Kawaki, Shikamaru explaining things we already knew. And that's what put that was put in an interesting way and also the fight the fight was great and the tension was high at every moment the first time i read it 
I thought Sasuke would die by the end of the chapter. While reading it, I was like, Sasuke is gonna die. He's gonna get killed right now. And and then by the very end, when when the Sasuke is about to get killed, Boruto save him, and Boruto realize, oh, oh. He cannot kill me. Ishiki cannot kill me. That was a great ending for the chapter. And I cannot wait for the rest. Going in third place. We got chapter 49. Naruto vs Ishiki fight as usual. It's great. Uh, Boruto Sasuke art to art um, exchange. Where they were speaking about Boruto fear and... Boruto being scared to destroy everything and Boruto becoming slowly Momoshiki. It's it was great. Sai explaining uh, the hiding uh, they had in the village was also great. You see, it has some defense, and we, as usual, we get that great jig and Ishiki. Ishiki is great villain. He show up poli uh, polite. He show up. He is polite as usual, and he's doing his thing. He's like, "Yo, just tell what I want, and I won't kill you." And Boruto also show he is very smart, and he cares for the village. And that chapter was great. Sasuke entry to the fight was great, and. I remember after reading chapter 49, I knew chapter 50 would be a huge fight. And that's what we got. And that was a great chapter. Going in fourth place, we got chapter 36. Kawaki Boto relationship being created slowly. Mitsuki Boto relationship. Inojin Chikadai, like every character connecting together was interesting. And then we we see the ending where he show up in Naruto house and he's like, "Yo, I want Kawaki," and Naruto is just like, "No, you won't have Kawaki," and that was great. Like we see Jigen as a new villain, and the new villain was entertaining. Going in f fifth place, what we got is chapter thirty nine, when Sarda realized Naruto is gone. Kawaki seemed devastated. Shikamaru taking the lead. Uh, Kashin Koji planning on killing Jigen was great. Kawaki moment was like great. Boruto Shikamaru speaking together was very funny. Boruto and Kawaki using the karma to teleport was great. Team 7 against Boruto starting was also amazing. Going in 6th place, we got chapter 47. The explanation of the Jutsu Ichiki use was great. The fight was amazing. The story swiping uh, with the fight was also great. Kawaki losing his Kama. Sasuke chopping Kawaki arm. Like There was a lot of character moment in that chapter. Uh, Kashin Koji uh, reveal about him being a Jiraiya clone was amazing. Uh, then, going in seventh place, we got uh, the chapter forty six with Kashin Koji and Jigen uh, exchange was great. Amado explaining he was working with Koji to take down Jigen was also great. Jigen and Ishiki backstory was very interesting. Uh, Amado explaining karma was very interesting. That chapter was fire like most of what we got. And then I will go to three honorable mention. They almost made to that top. But they did not obviously. But they almost made it there. They are all equal for me those three. So the first one chapter 45. Shikamaru losing his mind. Amado was saying he would kill off Chikadai if they don't listen to him. So you see Amado character there and his entry was fire. It was scary. It was that's a villain 
that show up there and he's gonna screw everything up chapter 32 Naruto and Delta fight was great that was amazing fight and and you see Kawaki starting to care for Naruto and then chapter 20 Boruto characters growth and Mojino sacrifice that ends my top seven with three honorable mention so um, I hope you guys enjoyed like comment and subscribe what is your top seven or top ten if you want to include honorable mention have a great day